Okay, so welcome back. It is day two of the Millimilia Prologue UAE, and uh, this is probably it's probably the best time that we've seen all of the cars actually on the event together. The first video showed a lot of the cars which joined the overall event on display, etc. However, not all of them were entrants. However, everything you're seeing around here, these are all people officially on it. The lineup is incredible. Joachim Mass is about to uh, set off there in his beautiful 911. By the way, have you ever seen an old 911 next to a new one? They're beautifully small. Anyway, let's just give you a quick walk and talk to show you the eclectic mix of things which has taken part in this event. I mean, check out this thing. <laughs> Look at the size of it. <laughs> so one of the unique things about the prologue, or in fact the UAE experience, is that it's open to a class called the Contemporary Icons. Now, in December is when the official event takes place, and that's when you'll see a selection of about 20, I guess what you would class as modern day cars, supercars, hypercars, uh, that have their own iconic status, that seem to uh, tick the box to be eligible to enter such an event. Now, half of the reason for that to exist as well is that the classic car culture in the UAE is still sort of developing and growing. So it's an opportunity to invite people down that have very special, interesting cars, but might not necessarily be from the 1950s. So there's a concept I'm just thinking about right now. So I've always been like really, I guess, wary of motorbikes in the UK. Now, bear with me. I just think we've got loads of like, you know, little tight roads and junk junctions. Like junctions are the thing that scare me on a bike. Because it's not necessarily always you. It's that, that person that pulls out at a junction, quick glance, doesn't maybe see you, pulls out, and the next thing you're over the bonnet. But there's something about out here I'm not necessarily in downtown Dubai or, or in town, but the actual roads right now, they're so open and flowing. And we've just had the uh, Ducati support bikes pass us to just now. I would say I've sort of had my eyes opened a bit to opposite ends of the spectrum of transport. We're in this, this, this 1970 drop top Merc, which is enjoyable at like 60 miles an hour. And then there's those things. Not that you have to go fast. I mean, look, they're probably doing 70 mile an hour now, I would say. Um, I don't know, just through here, carving through those mountains, on a Ducati, what's it been? So, I've been really fortunate to drive one of my favorite roads in the world, Jebel J's, in a variety of machinery. We've been up here in a W Motors Finir, we've done a GT3 RS, we've done all sorts of cool things. 720, we actually drove up here last time in a McLaren P1, which in itself was very cool indeed, but never in a million years did I think that I'd be driving up in a 1970 Mercedes-Benz 280 SE, restored no less, by Brabus. So, in the spirit of all things awesome, we're now gonna swing over and uh, remove the roof because the visuals up here are tremendous.
So for anyone who's unfamiliar with Jebel Jays, um, it is a mountain pass in the Emirate state of Ras Al Khaimah, which neighbors Dubai. And um, the only way of describing it is a three lane Alpine pass. Imagine a motorway that works its way up a mountain. It's a relatively new road. And so it is billiard smooth and it cuts through gorges. It looks like you're sort of ascending the Grand Canyon. It's that sort of vibe. Uh, it's just a remarkable stretch of tarmac. And to experience it in this, I mean, it's one of my all time favorite roads, but to experience it in this, it just adds a completely different flavor to it, especially when you introduce 1970s cross ply tires to a long sweeping left hand corner. <laughs> yeah, your world really slows down then. <laughs> Look at this. There's so much roll. But I have to say, normally we're going up here so swift, I don't have a great deal of time to take in the environment. But right now, look at it. Roof off. It's hard to feel much cooler right now. All right, so we made it to the top. Well, technically we went up to the top and then we came a little bit further down. But uh, yeah, this is our, our checkpoint for the day. So good seeing all the cars together. I've been banging on about this, but um, you know, it's not often that you see many classic cars in the region. So to see all of these together in one spot, I think as a moment for the region, it's very cool. Come and check out this view <laughs> and look at what they've built. So the last time we were up here on the recce for Millimilia, this was half built, which is a Jay's luge or Jay's sledging. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's basically, basically a sort of self-controlled roller coaster descent. I think these sledges have a handbrake on them. And the faster you go, the more you need to brake. And people sort of wind their way down the mountain on a sort of roller coaster toboggan type thing. It's, it looks awesome. Food. How you doing, hey, man? Hey, Dude, hey. this thing, they look so good on the road. What's it like, this? Cool? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's, it's um, good. I've got more used to it. As um, okay. uh, on the first day, I was like, "Oh, it doesn't really turn." And okay. Stuff. And then by today, I was like, "Okay, yes." It okay, does. it's good. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I, okay. I came up here. I was like, "Yeah." I was, I was yeah. Like this, Knee like, down. I was thinking. I was thinking. I, was thinking, I, was thinking, I, was thinking, I forgot I didn't have my leathers on. I went like that. I, was <laughs> like, I could feel the like, <laughs> this video. Is like the actual riding yeah. position is fairly relaxed as well. It's not too. It's super comfy you know? as well because your butt's up against. Yeah. Your butt. You can actually kind of sit back. If you sit back in straighten it. the bars and you'll see it's, yeah. um, it's quite a nice... Uh, it's a not, it's oh, a wow, really, yeah. It's really pretty really chill, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Are, um, uh, it doesn't hurt your back, you know. It's not too chopper. Sure, yeah, yeah. it's not too sports bike. It's yes. kind of, you know, a... in between. It's very similar to riding Decent an adventure bike. Right, okay. With power and low down yes. and corners. Yeah. So that's like the best of both worlds. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what a thing. Honestly, on the road, it looks evil, man. Yeah. It looks so good. What is cool? Being at the top of a massive mountain eating burgers with your petrol head mates. That is really good. That kind of is summarizing it really. I'm really surprised as well at how many people I've overlapped with over the years on various different rallies who are also all here. It's like one big reunion. It's super cool. So uh, Martin and Octanium, well done. Uh, your team have nailed it and I'm really looking forward to the main event in December. Just about made it in time. Uh, it was only two days, but honestly, that was really intense, mostly because of the heat. So I'm uh, going to go inside, crack open a cold one, and slap on some after sun. how incredible it's been. I think we've all seen parts of the UAE that we may never have seen if it wasn't for this trip. We've met fantastic people, we've driven great cars, we've eaten good food. The idea of these last two days has effectively been a flavor of what the main event's gonna be like uh, towards the end of the year.
All right, that was awesome. Uh, truly honored to be a small part in the Millimilia UAE experience. We're going to sign the bonnet like so. While we have a blank canvas, and uh, see you on the next one. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time. Ciao.